Julia, in your presentation, you addressing the, the question, why are not women sensitive while listening to improve the diet? What is the reason? Or are there a hundred thousand reasons? There are a hundred thousand reasons. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that was why I was trying to bring together all the different complex motivators to then try and identify ways that we can hopefully start to deal with them. Clearly we can't take them one at a time because it'll take us a hundred thousand years. So we do need some more uh, global as well as individual strategies. But we are getting older, we are getting healthier. Are we really adhering to a bad diet? Is our food, which we are not consume, which we are consuming on a daily basis, not much, much better than 20, 30 years ago? I, I think um, our food supply is certainly more stable, but uh, the rates of smoking have reduced. Uh, we have clean water. We've done a huge amount about. Uh, uh, cutting infectious disease in childhood so those children um, are able to grow to be old and we haven't had a world war uh, where we've killed uh, you know a, a lot of uh, young people uh, so I think the longevity has increased for more than just nutrition I think we now run the risk of uh, the good long life we li live to start to decline because of our uh, bad nutritional practices of having uh, too much, uh, if, if you like. This brings me to the question, it's a question of quantity, there's no good, good or bad food per se, it's just the quantity. Chocolate is quite good if you don't eat half a kilogram, right? I think you're absolutely right in terms of being they're having value in all foods. We do need to have a minimum level to meet our uh, of good foods to meet our nutritional requirements. Uh, so we do need quality uh, in an appropriate quantity. Last question: What can women do if they are thinking about the next generation, their future children? The biggest issue is to maintain a healthy weight uh, and secondarily uh, a good healthy eating pattern. There are no specific deficiencies in developed countries which are burning. Um, generally speaking, uh, the issue of folate supplementation is well and truly accepted and many countries fortify the food supply. So the, the key key nutrient issue that may require and does require supplementation or fortification is folate for the prevention of neural tube defects. I think if you have a good variety of foods in your diet, you can meet your nutritional requirements and that's what I was referring to as having a quality without excessive quantity. But your main message is once you are thinking to become pregnant, maintain your health, weight, weight. and smoke. Yes. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you.